Hey guys, it's your boy Ray again. It's springtime outside, you know. I don't come out and do like working on cars, but man, it's springtime, so got some work to be done here on a car. So, yeah, I see I have on my uh, lights and stuff like that. I don't think I'm gonna need it because I'm in the garage, but it was overcast, so just prepared. Um, yes, today working on the car here. You know, I haven't put a video up in a long time because, you know, I just do the... See, I'm sporting a beard now. Uh, yeah, um, basically, in the wintertime, you know, I don't do anything on cars unless it's an emergency situation. I'm not making no videos. So, yeah, tune in. If you um, got a new car in the winter, at least it's my wife's car, um, and let's see here. Yes, this is the car. It's a... RDX, uh, this is the blackout, so it's a, it's a RDX, uh, Cura RDX 2022 with a um, A-spec uh, PMC, so it comes with the black tail pipes, looks nice. Yeah, so I got, uh, last week I'm driving, last weekend I'm driving a car, noticed that, uh, hey, it's showing a code, B1616, I'm like, maintenance, I'm like, what's that? So I do my little research figured out that uh, the B is for uh, oil change. Of course, I was gonna do that anyway. Don't mind my, my box of bottles of oil there. Gotta go get them recycled. Yeah, I live in the Minneapolis area and um, the store that I normally go to got burned down and never rebuilt. So I gotta go further to dispose of oil and sometimes you go there, the can is full and stuff like that. So it's been busy. So anyway, got the B code, B being oil change, one being tire rotation and the six means a differential fluid change. So I did my research, looks pretty good, easy. If you have one of these, uh, I think it's 2019 and up. Yeah, um, pretty simple do. You see here, if you're looking right under there, you see right to that little hole there, the middle hole right to the back of the differential. I'm gonna show you guys. It's not, a, it takes you two bottles. Um, I went on Amazon and got the oil, I will show you guys later that. But if you, you know, you can just go under the scar. If you go on the scar, this is the hole right there. And if you look, there it is. It goes right to the back of it. And you see it's DPSF. That's a type of oil. I got mine at the dealership. You can find it online. Here is a dream plug right there. Um, again, for this, you don't need, you just need a ratchet to three it's ratchet with an extension because you gotta go through this hole to the back of that. So I got my two right here. All right, so give me a second here. Get my two together. Yeah, so all you gotta do car I didn't have to jack it up I'm actually on the garage floor back up this yep so you go through here and you go on to the other side you see it goes right in here man right in there and if you don't have enough arm strength because when you put the ratchet on put on the ratchet on this here if you don't know have enough option to pull it you can use your gun there and just kind of relieve it because this one is kind of harder to pull you know because you see the kind of rest in there and then of course you pull it and just air it out because you just gotta do it like you're changing engine oil and then you go to the bottom here this one right here, there it is. And it's the same end, you don't even you use the same end of your, you don't have to use the extension, you can take the extension off, off it here. Take the extension off it here, and you just put that right in here. And there you go, you can pull it off. Let me can see, yep, you can just pull it off from there. And yeah, pretty simple. Drain it out, 
It's your dream parent. I'm just going to do the tutorial. You, you guys can figure this out. You can know what you're doing if you're doing this. Um, loose it off. Train it. Uh, of course, you pull the top one here first. Right? Again, it might be a little stiff because you're using the extension. Um, sometimes you can even go in between here. If you have a jack, if you have a jack stand, I jack it up. It would be easier to go between here. You don't have to use the extension. But if you use the extension, which would be better because you have those electronic, electrical right there. You don't want to mess with that. Your extension. All you do is just use your your your, your talk wrench, uh, talk gun, and it, it pulls pretty easy. All right, and then you can you don't lose that so that here can get in it, and then of course you lose. Get your pan under it. It's like you're changing your oil, and it drains out. Um, it drains right out into the pan. Now you gotta change the washers, of course. Typical situation, and, the, and it talks back to 35 pounds. You only need 35 pounds talk back to, to when you when you lose now to put the fluid in okay to put the fluid in is kind of a little tricky so what you need is a little 11 11 dollar pump um which i'm going to show you mine a little 11 dollar pump from you know i got mine at wally world um because if you you could use a funnel too here uh, those extended funnels i'm pouring in and screw the bottle on the end but it can be messy all right i've seen people do that i'm like no that's 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 ridiculous it's it might be more work than you need so you get all 11 dollar pump pump things and you can buy I, one i bought was actually it can be used as a bike pump a, a ball pump it can be used as some some thing i can use a, a, a serpent pump too so it, it, it's to a purpose so you're not just buying an 11 dollar pump for you no know, just a one time maybe one time use or whatever you can do it for certain things so yeah i'm going to show you the pump all you do is stick one end in the bottle I'll show you how to do that and then one end into that and you just pump it and it pumps in there until um, it starts flowing over so when you start flowing out of that area uh, you of course you have your catch can under there see I mess up my floor there a little bit so you gotta have something under it um, and it just runs over when it fills it runs over you you stop pumping it doesn't pump anymore and then you clean it up use a little brake cleaner and clean it off and you're good to go so i'll show you that in a minute here all right guys here it is here is the, the oil see there it says akira you can um there is a compro one at under under says the same thing you know under is a parent company for akira this is a luxury division but the same oil works in both differentials if you for the reason you can't you can get it at both places so it's all wheel drive fluid EPSF, just like I showed you on the back of the transfer case there. And yeah, here's a pump. It's basically, this is the one I got, the multiple purpose, multi-use pump. Here it is. Simple operation. Um, it comes with a quick release. So you put one end in here, with the hose and one in here. The bottom of it. Bottom of it here. See, it's all oily from me using it. Um, you put it in here, you just pull it, push it down and push it in, and I'm using one hand, so it's simple. You push this down, and then put the, the hose in, and then it comes back up, and it's just quick grip. And so you put one end in the bottle. Let's put one in the bottle here, and it goes into the hose, and the other end comes out and goes into the, um, goes into the, the back of the, um, the transmission there. And you just pump the thing. It's, you know, I was just under there, and I just pump it pump and it just pumps it into it. this circulates in there and goes in there pretty easy so these are the tools that you need I did try this business first screwed onto here and but it was just not flowing right um, I just like gave up on it <laughs> I was creating more mess than I was wanted to drains all down my arm and I'm like what forget about it um, this is $11 I had bought it with the hopes that if that works I would even need to use a pump because you know but again this is a dual pump so it comes even with an attachment. You can pump your bike with it, um, or you can um, you can pump ball. You know, you have so you have kids, you have soccer balls, basketballs, footballs, whatever maybe you use. So yeah, that's how you change the um, the oil on um, on differential. Pretty easy. Again, guys, all you need is the tools right there. Just that. Just the the socket. Just the, um, the ratchet and the extension, three eighths, and yeah, it takes me 
Yeah, if I wasn't fiddling around with the fluid thing, it would take me no time. Uh, it was a little bit hard to get off, so I had to bring up my my tool and I just brrr, and then it just cracked it for me. So I didn't have to try use again because I was on the floor on this. I didn't think I it wanted to be on a level floor, so I don't want to put down jack stands or anything like that. So that's how you change the differential oil. I hope that helps. It's more of a tutorial than a, pra, a pra, you know, that sometimes when you're doing these things, it's kind of hard to hold it and do it. But I don't want to put the information out there because sometimes you watch these videos and you kind of miss stuff. Like, for instance, telling you that it might be a little difficult if you're doing it on the floor or, you know, where you get this and how you can get the dual parts and stuff like that. The, this online, you can find it for nine bucks, but with shipping, it's going to be about 30. At the dealership, I got it for like 32 bucks for two, um, two bottles of it. So... It would cost me hundred dollars. It's eleven dollars plus the two oil. Uh, it's almost fifty bucks. So, save myself hundred bucks just by doing it, and it didn't take long. All right. Um, again, it's the operative thing is to pump it until you get run it run over, and then you can just um, catch it. You know, have something to catch it and pop it and tighten it back up. Again, thirty-five pound uh, torque on your torque wrench. The torque wrench right over there. 35 pounds on it and that's it so that's how you do your differential uh, fluid change for the uh, the Acura RDX um, I have the 2022 but I think 20, 2019 to, to the present all right be well guys bless